Welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Now, this is a story, but it's all based on facts and reality. Who eats who? The first chapter is about the food chain. All living things are part of food chains. Yes, all living things, big and small, plants and animals, all of us. A food chain is made when one living thing eats another living thing. And that living thing eats another. And that living thing eats another. Why do living things eat each other? All living things need food. It helps them grow and gives them energy. Don't break the chain. Every link in a food chain is important. Grass is important to lions, even though they don't eat it. Yuck, I don't eat grass, but without grass, there would be no zebras for me to eat. So, the, the food chain starts with what? With grass. Zebras eat the grass. They are herbivores. They eat grass. Without grass, zebras wouldn't have anything to eat, and they would die. Lions are carnivores. They eat zebras. Without zebras and other herbivores, the lions wouldn't have anything to eat either. So they need the zebras and the zebras need the grass. All chained together. Food chains happen everywhere. You find them in hot places and in cold places. Snakes are camouflaged. Their skin matches their environment. So lizards can't see them coming. So, an insect eats the plant, the lizard eats the insect, and the snake eats the lizard. Polar bears wait for seals near holes in the ice. The arctic cod eats the shrimp. The seal eats the arctic cod. And who eats the seal? The big polar bear. Do you know what, kids? You're also in the chain too. Yep, that means you. Yep, you, you, you. Humans are omnivores. They can eat plants, fish and meat. Now have a look at this chain. The chicken eats the corn and humans eat the chicken. But humans usually buy the meat instead of hunting it. Humans usually cook meat before eating it. And some humans choose not to eat meat. They are called vegetarians. Does the chain end? There is a pattern in food chains. A carnivore, such as a lion or a fox, is usually at the top of a food chain. This is because these animals are excellent hunters or predators. The grizzly bear is a predator. But this food chain does not end with the grizzly bear. No, a food chain never ends. When a grizzly bear dies, it is eaten by bugs in the ground. They break it down in the soil and they make it into food for the plants. Then the chain starts again. So it goes round and round and round. Who eats who? Yep, all living things are in food chains. From lions to insects to you. So we have group one is eaten by group two. Group two is eaten by group three. And group three is eaten by group four. Now take a look at this food chain. You have grass, corn and plants are eaten by group two. These are all the groups. And the last group is group three. No, the last group is group four. The bugs eat all of us, the polar bear, the grizzly bear, the fox, the snake, the human and the lion, when our journey is over on this beautiful planet. The end. Now you have a glossary here, which is a list of some words and their meanings. You can take your time, put the video on pause and go through this. Thank you for listening and learning. And if you like this video, you know what you got to do, kids. Ta-ta for now.